Hello Lover Muffins, how are you? It's LaBierre. I hope that you're having a beautiful day today. I'm gonna show you how to do a braid if you have a day where, well, you don't have to have short hair to do a braid, but obviously I have this kind of a growing out pixie and it's getting to the point where it's not cute and just bluntly short. Sometimes I have to get creative with what I do. So I'm gonna show you how to do a really cute braid that you can pin back and it almost looks like you have longer hair because you are able to pin it back. So I'm gonna start it in front and I'm gonna section off um, a little piece of hair here. And if you can notice, I did a sort of a diagonal line. So it's not, it's not just this little bit of hair, it's literally making a little triangle, see? Triangle. Okay, so I don't know if that matters, but that's how I do it. So I don't know if it would look the same on you if you didn't do that. So I have the hair, and the way to make a cool braid is to do it under, so then it looks like it's popping out. So you grab two fingers and you section the hair in three, okay? So this is gonna take some practice because I've been doing it for a while, so if you've never done it before, be patient with yourself. So there's three sections here, and regular braids go over. This one, we're gonna go under, okay? So we're gonna go under, under, and under. So I usually do four. So I did under, 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 or three, three. Okay, so now I have this hair. See how I hold one with one finger, other one with another one, and another one with another one. That's the tricky part. So I'm gonna take a section of my hair and combine it with the one that I hadn't pushed down. Gosh, this is so hard to explain. I hope you can understand. So then I'm gonna push that under and bring this one out. Okay, so now I have this one and we're gonna collect hair and have it with that one and go under again. So I'm gonna bring this back. Then I'm gonna grab more hair and I'm gonna connect it with this one and go under. And you have to keep pulling your hair so that it will make a, a nice tight braid. So I'm gonna grab more hair and go under and pull. And usually that's where I stop. Oh, well, on this side. And then I'm gonna grab this last piece. And then I'm just gonna braid normal. This is so hard to explain, you guys. And then I'm taking these little elastic clear elastic bands. I got these at the 99 cent store. And I'm gonna secure that there. It doesn't matter that it looks all wonky because we're just gonna do the other side too. So same thing, I'm gonna do a little triangle. Maybe this could be better for you guys to see on this side. So three, go under, under, under. See, this one didn't go under yet. So this one didn't go under yet. So I'm gonna grab it and put it under. So this one's next. You grab hair, do it under. This one's a lot less hair to work with. Okay, and then I'm just gonna braid it out and not add any additional hair to it. I'm gonna grab my elastic band. Ah! <laughs> That's what teeth are for. I hope you know that. Okay, and get it nice and secured here. And that's it, there you go, you have a really cute hairdo. No, usually what I do is I grab a bobby pin and I slide it in to secure that in place. Okay, I'm gonna do it again over here. And then you don't see it, you see you don't see the pin. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with this remaining hair that just looks kind of blah, is I'm going to grab another elastic band and I don't know what it looks like from the back it might not look that cute from the back but we don't care because we're looking at the front so I'm just gonna grab all of this I'm gonna make a little ponytail 
So now I look like I put a little effort into my hair and then these, if you like them just out, you can leave them out. You can pin them back with bobby pins if you don't like the more disheveled look. If you want it to be a little more put together. I like little flyaways. It makes it look not perfect and we're not perfect, so I like that. I hope that this blesses you guys and I hope that you've learned something. It's so confusing to try to explain what you're doing. So I hope that with my words and with me showing you that you can get it at home. Please don't get discouraged if you don't get it at the first try. My hands are already, they know what to do because I've been braiding my hair for so long. So I have practice. So if you want to get this, don't get discouraged. Don't give up. Try and try and try and try and try again until you get it because it's all about um, doing it and if you are a novice maybe start with the regular braid and do this rather than it because see when you go under it pops up your braid that's what why I do it under because especially when you have um, lighter hair it kind of looks cool with darker hair you don't see the dimension of it popping up as much but when you have lighter hair you do so that's why I like to do that but um I hope that you guys can try and if you if you happen to do it and gosh if you if you do this hairdo I would be so blessed to know that you did it please take a picture and send it to me I have Instagram and I have Facebook so if you hashtag Libya Reynolds I will see your picture the way you did it so I would love to see you guys in your braids and um, I just would love to know if, if it helped you so please do that if you follow me on Instagram thank you follow me on Facebook thank you I also write a blog so I will be putting the link down below um, subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and let me know if you like this hairdo thumbs up have a beautiful blessed day. I hope you know that you are loved and I hope that you know that you are unique and that you have a purpose in this life that only you can fulfill. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you.